All right, guys, how's it going? So I've just got back from the vets. As you know, I've just took Remy up there, my rescue dog, uh, to discuss having his you-know-what's chopped away. Uh, and uh, I'm absolutely covered in dog hair, as you can probably see. Uh, and I had to get changed before I went because I was covered in dog hair. Uh, and it's even worse now. Anyway, so um, I wanted to go over a few things with you uh, with regards to the appointment of Michael Edwards. Uh, obviously, we've you know we've we've touched on that a little bit today already. Uh, David Ornstein has now contributed to you know several articles, you know um, updated articles, if you like, James Pierce, David Ornstein, that kind of thing. Um, and I just thought we would look at a couple of things which some of you have been talking to me about because I did the live stream this afternoon. I'll be doing one again uh, a little bit later, so please do come along. Uh, we've got some quotes now. Uh, FSG President Mike Gordon, uh, well, I call him Flash. Uh, Michael is one of the most formidable executive talents in world football, and John, Tom and I are absolutely thrilled to have security services for our business. As an organisation, we constantly strive for improvement in our football operation, whether that be identifying fresh opportunities externally or areas for enhancement internally, and there is no better person to lead that ongoing process. Now, we've seen this change, haven't we, to do with FSG. You know, FSG International. Uh, this is really important, what he's saying there. Strive for improvement in our football operation, not just exclusively within Liverpool Football Club, which we're going to touch on uh, a bit bit further in, in a minute. We'll just stick with these quotes at the moment. Um the Edwards appointment has been seen more as an FSG appointment and not just a Liverpool Football Club uh, appointment. I hope I said the right word there. Uh, which will anger some fans, I think. I think some fans will like some of the things that they're hearing. Um, he joins now in a far broader capacity uh, that encompasses Liverpool rather than specifically returning to Anfield. Uh, Edward said, I'm very grateful to Mike, John, Tom and the ownership group for offering me the opportunity to take on this new leadership role within FSG. I was humbled by the desire and persistence they showed in wanting to work with me again. This is definitely not something that I take for granted given their track record across sport and business. And then they big him up and talk about what he's you know, done to, uh, you know, the, the offers, you know, the declined a number of offers from, you know, other uh, football clubs, etc., um, succeeds Gordon as the day-to-day -day decision maker on all football matters, right? We, you know, we've had this, you know, mooted before, aren't it, about them wanting another club and stuff like that, and they're they're going for it. This is what they're going to do, and I don't think that's going to sit easy with a lot of people. I don't know how I feel about it. To be honest, my natural reaction is to be defensive and say, "I'm going to fuck it, minute." You know, these people should be working just for. Liverpool Football Club, not Liverpool Football Club and some team in fucking South America or something like that. Do you know what I mean? But then you've got to look at the other side of it and say, could that benefit Liverpool Football Club in the future? You know, scouting, uh, you know, maybe players going there or vice versa and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? But we all know at the end of the day that they're, you know, a future acquisition of another football club isn't, is, is going to be about money. Do you know what I mean? That's it. Uh, I personally, I, I, I have a problem, to be honest with you, with, uh, you know, organisations, business people, ever owning multiple clubs. I just, but then, you know, a sister club, you know, you know, for years, Liverpool were linked with Crew Alexander, didn't own the club, uh, but, you know, worked with them. They had a great relationship and it benefited. So that's good. But it's just the only bit that worries me a little bit is like, Oh, I don't know. It's it's too. I don't know what I'm saying. To be honest with you, um, I I think you understand what I mean, don't you guys? Even though I'm not spitting it out, like I'm defensive of my own club. Like I don't really want to know about any other fucking club. Yeah, all right. You can sell it to me as like, well, it'll benefit us. You know, players could go there. You know, they could come to us. Link and all that. You know what I mean? Like, but I, it's just got that written all over it. It was vital for me that if I did return, it had to be with renewed vigour and energy. In practice, this means having fresh challenges and opportunities. As such, one of the biggest factors in my decision 
is the commitment to acquire and oversee and oversee an additional club growing this area of their organisation. I believe that's remain competitive investment and expansion of the current football portfolio if necessary, is necessary, sorry. I'm going to repeat that again because I, I, I want it to be clear. As such, one of the biggest factors in my decision is the commitment to acquire and oversee an additional club growing this area of their organisation. I believe that to remain competitive investment and expansion of the current football portfolio is necessary. I don't want to hear that, to be honest with you. You know, I want to hear about the growing the area of this football club, Liverpool Football Club. So I don't like it, but I'm going to think about it. So he's, he's leaving, obviously he's resigning from uh, Lunatics or whatever it's called, Lunatics, the advisory service, uh, on June 1st. Don't get worried too much about, you know, the official start dates of Edwards and Richard Hughes, uh, you know, because they'll all be working there behind the scenes. As part of Edwards' move, Theo Epstein, uh, as Epstein has been reappointed as an advisor for the Boston Red Sox and FSG's expanding sports portfolio is another sign of FSG's desire to bring back trusted executives with a track record of success in broader, more expansive roles. The appointment of Hughes has always depended on FSG securing Edwards and having served notice of the South Coast team some time ago, the ex-Scotland international has held discussions with multiple suitors since the January transfer window closed. Edwards is known to regard Hughes among the industry's leading operators. Uh, we know all this, right? You know all that. Um, so... It is only natural for me, and maybe you, to be like, I don't really want to hear about another football club acquiring another football club right now. We only want to hear about our football club. Do you know what I mean? I'm so excited to be coming back to Liverpool Football Club to expand this football club, make this football club better. And what we're really seeing in the message here is... I'm really, you know, excited to work for FSG within the organisation to acquire another football club and to, ex you know, expand into other things, which I don't know if it's been, like, I think anti-FSG people, FSG out people will be all over that. But I'm trying to reserve judgment on it. I'm trying to reserve judgment on it because I don't want to be that person. And there's nothing to suggest that even if Edwards is overseeing their football operations, which now is not just about Liverpool football, there's nothing to suggest that Liverpool Football Club will suffer in any way, shape or form. Hmm. But as a football supporter, the naive amongst us may be, no, do you know what? That's a really fucking insulting word to use, naive. I'm not fucking naive. I'm passionate. So I should only care about Liverpool Football Club. Fuck any other fucking football club they acquire. Who the fuck about that? Hmm. I, I really need to think this one through. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you about it. But my air fryer has just gone off upstairs, so I've got to go now, guys. Priorities. But can you can you please help me out with this one a little bit? Like, how are you feeling about this? It's natural, please. You know what I mean? It's natural, isn't it, to think, well, hang on a minute. I don't really want to hear about all of your shit. I just want to hear about what you're going to do with Liverpool Football Club. You know, expand this operation. Find the best man for the job to be the best sporting director and the best manager and take this club. Fuck it. We want to hear that, don't we? Right? You know, rallying call, right? But all I'm hearing and seeing is this is the man for our organisation who is also then talking about his his own position as the portfolio of football. I give a fuck about what other football clubs say. Oh, fuck that shit, man. All right, you can, you can sell it to me as like, well, the link-up would be great, but we all know at the end of the day it's about that. 
And I think the FSGR people will be uh, all over that myself. But I'm going to reserve judgment for now because at the end of the day, he's coming back to Liverpool Football Club. And Richard Hughes, in theory, is the man to to deal with the the things that we should care about, the, the player recruit, recruitment and things like that. But it's obvious from this that Edwards, this is a bigger thing for them and for him. And I can't, I cannot help uh, but just feel a little bit like that's not what, what I want to hear right now. And maybe I'm being pathetic and childish. I don't know. I just love my football club. So that's it. Uh, maybe I should have thought about this video a bit longer. I had a shaver and I missed a bit there and it's doing me head in. I felt it. I walked the dog up to the vets and I felt it all the way there. Feels like I've got like a moustache hanging off my fucking face. This and, and this is why I don't like modern ownership and that. I'm sorry guys, I can't I can't fucking lie and sit here and be like one of these spanners on here on social media telling oh he's fucking amazing this. No, I'm not having it. I don't want to hear about acquiring another fucking football club. Sort your own fucking football club out first. We haven't got a manager yet. But that's being bitchy, right? Because what can they do? They can't do anything at the minute. Right. Well, all right then, at least just fucking make it look like all your focus is Liverpool Football Club. You will get a more real video than me than this or uh, than this one because I don't know. I, I I'm I'm going to put it over to you guys. I, you, this is if ever you're going to comment a video, this is the one to comment. I think the majority of you will be upbeat and just focusing on the Edwards thing, and maybe you don't get into it like I do. Maybe I maybe I'm too deep with that shit sometimes. I don't know. You have to put me right then. I ain't got a problem with you putting me right at all. But in my defence, I would just say that. You know, right now, today, even if you're going to be doing all the other things around whatever, fine, but that's not really what I want to hear today. I don't want to hear about your plans for fucking expanding your football portfolio. I want to hear about your plans for expanding that football club that we all love. Anyway, it's, it's on you. You tell me, guys. If you appreciate the video, please thumbs up. Uh, please drop me a comment. Put me right if I'm wrong. Uh, and if you want to buy me a beer or a coffee or whatever, it that super thanks thing. We're, we're gonna we're gonna we'll do a live stream a little bit later today. Come along and have a natter. All right. Thanks to those of you that did support me on that stream earlier. Um, your names will be added to um, the video description, and also uh, tomorrow morning's morning briefing. I'll give you a shout out on there. So let let's just evaluate. Let's you know I might be just wrong at the minute. You you tell me. Um, uh, maybe it won't affect things to do with Liverpool Football Club. Maybe it'll make Liverpool Football Club even better in the long run, right? So, it's over to you guys. I'll speak to you in a bit. My fish is ready.